first contact a documentary on deep space travel. In this video, we're going to see more precisely what it means to travel in space. Before we start, sit down, please like, subscribe and comment. Let's start now. Are you tired of the same old beach vacations every year? Want to spice up your travel itinerary? Look no further. Space tourism is the answer. But before you start packing your bags for a trip to Mars, there's one small catch that's currently only affordable for the ultra-rich elite. But fear not, fellow Earthlings. The future is bright and soon enough we'll all be able to jet off to the International Space Station, take a spin around the moon, and maybe even spend our summer holidays on the red planet. So start saving up those space bucks and brush up on your intergalactic travel knowledge with this handy guide. Who knows, you may end up being the first one in your friend group to take a selfie on Mars. Are you scared of flying? Well, buckle up, buttercup, because space travel is like jumping on a giant firecracker that's also a roller coaster. Just ask astronaut Mike Massimino. He's seen it all. Imagine counting down to blast off and then suddenly going from zero to 28,000 kilometers per hour in 8.5 minutes. That's faster than a speeding bullet and just as intense. You'll feel like a pancake being pressed by 3G, which is like having three times your body weight crushing you. No wonder astronauts have to be in top physical shape. It's like a space boot camp. But don't worry. Once you reach space, it's like a weightless paradise. No more vibrations. Just the sound of cool breeze and the freedom to float around like a feather. So if you're ready for the ultimate thrill ride, space travel is for you. Okay, space cadets, are you ready for liftoff? The question is, where are you headed and how long are you willing to be away from Earth's gravity? Don't worry, we've got you covered with our intergalactic vacation planning guide. If you're short on time and just looking for a quick space jaunt, plan for a two-week trip. In that time, you can visit the moon, walk in the footsteps of Neil Armstrong and other moon explorers and see all the craters and plateaus you've only seen in movies. Plus, the view of Earth from the moon is out of this world, literally. But, if you're looking for something a bit more off the beaten path, the dark side of the moon is perfect for a digital detox as there's no signal. But, if you're looking for something more adventurous, like the space equivalent of a trip to Mars, then you better plan for a three-year trip. Just getting there takes six to nine months, and once you're there you can climb Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, or explore Vales Marinus, the Martian version of the Grand Canyon. So, pack your bags, set your coordinates and blast off on the vacation of a lifetime. Forget about packing your entire closet for your space vacation. The key word here is minimalism, folks. But don't worry, we've got a list of essentials to make sure you don't leave anything important behind. First and foremost, earplugs are a must. Space travel can get pretty loud. Next, pack some heavy socks to keep your blood flowing to your feet in zero gravity. A head flashlight is also a must, because who wants to hold a flashlight while floating around in space? Velcro is also a lifesaver. It's great for sticking your book or camera in a convenient spot. And last but not least, bring reading glasses to combat the lack of gravity's effect on your eyesight. And a tip from former astronaut Leland Melvin, Bring something to remind you of home like a stuffed animal, toy, photo or any other memento to combat the inevitable homesickness. Do I have to get vaccinated before blast off? No, 
but you might have to spend some time in quarantine to make sure you don't bring Earth germs to space. Can I bring my furry companion with me? Sorry, Fido. By resourcing are scarce in space and it's not practical to bring your pet. Plus, how would they go to the bathroom in zero gravity? What's on the menu? Mainly snacks that you can pop in your mouth without making noise. Fresh foods are a no-go. They're too complicated to consume in space. Will I get space sickness? Maybe it's the opposite of car sickness. Your eyes see movement, but your body doesn't feel it. It's like virtual reality sickness. Wearing a VR headset for a while might give you an idea of how you handle it. Thank you for following us in this video. See you in the next episode.